Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm ready. Uh, let's start anytime. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, uh, do you understand what we do? Uh, a, a little bit. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I've read about the, the Beyond uh, CTOS, uh, and uh, I'm quite uh, interested uh, in your uh, take uh, about it, but uh, feel free to uh, add more because uh, we're going to uh, publish either this video or a transcript. So some background material uh, for the reader to understand or linking to your, I don't know, existing Vimeo or your Medium post or something uh, that would also help. Uh, so uh, do you need a pitch? Uh, I, I, I know uh, what's uh, on the uh, Vimeo uh, three months ago. You, okay. you have a uh, Vimeo link about the mobile uh, application that builds this caregiver uh, application. I think it's the, it's the same one uh, as um, the one that you're, you're referring to, right? Yes, yes. It's okay. Six. Yeah. And then now we are making IoT device. That's name is LQ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want, uh, I want to say, is it possible for mm. us and our team to implement mm. in IoT LQ in mm. Taiwan, Taipei? Uh, what, what kind of support do you need? I mean, the work that you do is obviously legal, <laughs> so you don't need a... <laughs> A sandbox or something. Yeah. So, so what what kind of support uh, would you like to get? Uh, for example, we we make uh, LQ uh, 100 picks. Then, then I will give you elderly person. Then, okay. then they use because now is IT. It's uh, I think it's a uh, more disability for elderly person okay to you know enable to change yes yeah because they they cannot use a smartphone right I, I'm, I'm listening yes yes uh -huh. so just uh, we want to discuss what we can do in Taipei together okay but, but the, the point is that, uh, so this is a, a projector that we're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. So uh, you have a home, essentially a home appliance, yeah. uh, a, a projector that uh, doubles as a camera. Uh, and you want to um, uh, people in Taipei to, to try it out. Uh, and uh, so uh, like the trial uh, service is part of the rental slash subscription uh, business model. Uh, and so you will like uh, the first batch of people who would like to subscribe or at least um, try it out. Uh, that's my understanding, right? So usually the, the way to go about is, is to start a, I don't know, crowdfunding campaign uh, or a subscription-based crowdfunding campaign. Um, that's by far the easiest way uh, to reach the Taiwanese audience. Um, there's many crowdfunding uh, platforms in, in Taiwan, maybe Scott knows uh, yeah. a, a, few, a, a few of them. That's, that's like the standard way. Um, and so, and to me, the pitch seems pretty uh, complete, pretty convincing already. So I'm not sure what, what else uh, can I uh, help before you move on um, to your first batch of early adopters. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we do the crowdfunding in Japan, uh, mm. big September. Mm. Yes. Uh, name is Kibidango. That's mm -hmm. a local crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, that's, I will send you the, did you, can you see the chat? Yes, I can see the yes. chat. Okay. Yes, I, I see the picture. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, that's a uh, construction. Then okay. uh, Scott is a uh, member of B Lab blockchain. Uh -huh. Maybe you yeah, know. Yeah. I yeah. know, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course I know the B Lab blockchain. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah uh, we, we work together on uh, air boxes before. Yes. Yes. I, uh -huh. Right. We want to use it too. Uh -huh. And uh, 
now we are applying for the AODC, Azure uh -huh. Open Data Platform. Uh -huh. The final pitch is 28th, 80th. Uh -huh. this okay. Yeah. There's a typo in your presentation. Uh, swim AI should be a swarm AI. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I won't say, what is this? You mean, I mean, social sector? Mm hmm Yeah, the social sector, like the Airbox uh, or the PTT, uh, is people who care about uh, the social issues and work together in a voluntary fashion uh, without any um, like top-down commanding relationship uh, who together uh, brainstorms possible solutions to social problems. That's the idea of a social sector. Yeah, that's I think is uh, self-rightness, use of the own data, right? Well, uh, of course, ownership is um, complicated, right? Uh, when I say social sector ownership, I mostly mean the governance, meaning that where the data goes, how the data is processed and collected and so on, each participant has a say. But some people mean ownership as a financial reward, like people getting due financial compensation uh, for the data that they curate and compensate. I guess both can be uh, named data ownership. I, I don't mean to monopolize the, the term uh, ownership. All right. So, I. So my challenging is a business model uh -huh. is you know uh -huh. data selling, like uh, I, I'm saying, as a tipping economy tips. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tips. Uh -huh. Sell own data to the company uh -huh. and get a small money, uh -huh. up to US eight dollars, up to sixty or small money. Uh -huh. Right, so like a, a gratuity. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. the idea is that maybe uh, for most people watching a YouTuber, a live stream is free, uh, yeah. but people can pay a small amount of money to push a agenda uh, for the YouTuber to talk about. Uh, the Taiwanese people is uh, very aware of this kind of uh, mm -hmm. tipping economy. Uh, there's a thriving uh, YouTuber scene here, uh, and a lot of it rely on these kind of small donations and subscriptions. Hmm. What, what do you think, Scott? Uh, from a business perspective, I think we need to form an ecosystem to support the caregiving idea. Like uh, like an internet business, you user don't really pay, but somebody wants the data or somebody wants the re reputation, they can pay the money. We can form a a small but strong enough ecosystem to support your uh, good idea. That's my opinion. Opinion. Let Audrey. Let's can we talk uh, after final pitch? No, so of course, of course, we sure. can book. We can book another time, uh, yeah. or I can uh, listen uh, to more ideas uh, from yeah. the community. Also, of course. Uh, yeah. Today, uh, Alan, uh, he is can uh, speak Japanese, English, Taiwanese. Oh, good. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that I think is better. Uh. But uh, he is in now uh, another meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what time it is going. Okay. I mean, you have forty minutes, so um, I mean, <laughs> I can I can wait and and stand by and uh, once. Okay. Uh, can I introduce the, myself? Yes, of course. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, now I mean, I was born in Osaka. Okay. But uh, now I'm in the satellite office. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Can you see that? Yes. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, rural, rural area. <laughs> I, I have this landscape. Very comfortable. For me. Mm -hmm. mm, that's great. Yes. And the back. 
I guess. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, Audrey, can, can you take a picture with her? Hi, of course, yes. What should I do? She wants to say hello. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Uh, she make a baby item? No. Um, baby sleep pillow. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she won't say hello. Uh, oh. say my partner. <laughs> uh, she helping uh, myself. And uh, I'm a fashion designer before. And uh, then I moved to the IoT. Mm -hmm. Then social mm -hmm. And uh, just in now. Okay. Okay. Yes. And a uh, little bit tough, no? Forty minutes. <laughs> did Did you see the my pitch video? No. Yes, I did. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Can 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 you understand? Yes. Uh, so, uh, 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 how do you support for the startup, like uh, my my company or startup, another company? Are you doing? Uh, you you can't do the advisor. No, I, I cannot serve on the advisory board as a, a public servant. I can only serve as board member for non-profit uh, organizations, uh, and only if the premier think is of diplomatic value. And uh, how how did you how do you know the woman startup problem in the US? Are the what? Woman mm -hmm. startup problem, WS? Yeah. The World Startup Lab. Yeah. Uh huh. How do you so, know? Which? Uh, yeah. I no, I I know what you're and uh, what what you're talking about, but um, I I do not have uh, like I'm not a board member there, so <laughs> I'm not sure what 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 you're asking. Uh, oh. The there's a uh, event that I attended. Uh, but I'm not uh, part of the Women Startup Labs. Uh, there is uh, a uh, person called Ramona who oh. works here at the Social Innovation Lab also, uh, because here is like an incubator. Uh, we incubate uh, many social innovators. And so one of the uh, social innovators here uh, with the name Ramona um, connects uh, to the Women Startup Labs. And I was, I think, invited uh, to their annual conference uh, to deliver um, a speech, uh, a kind of keynote. Uh, but other than that, I, I don't really know that organization. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, how can you help to Japan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so we have uh, high level talks with the uh, medical uh, officials and people working on the counter pandemic strategy. Uh, we have semi-regular uh, video calls uh, from our CECC, the um, 
Central Epidemic Command Center, but I'm not uh, regularly attending. I attend only when uh, there's something about like data, open data or uh, distribution uh, of PPEs and things like that. Then I get caught in uh, in such epicenter to epicenter um, diplomatic calls. Uh, but otherwise, I uh, try to help uh, by sharing uh, the kind of work that the GovZero community uh, works with um, the government uh, to innovate on ways to counter the pandemic uh, with the equivalent in Japan, and that's uh, the code for Japan. Uh, so I appeared on many uh, panels and so on uh, with Haluseki-san, um, the leader of Code for Japan, uh, making sure that the people, not only the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, which already works with Code for Japan on the dashboard and many other projects, but also um, like higher level uh, leadership in Japan, understand the, um, the importance of civic technology and social innovation. So I'm more of a kind of advocacy uh, point of view because I cannot travel to Japan physically now. Uh, I, I limit uh, myself to uh, such interviews and panels, uh, mostly with Cover Japan, but also with many other open source advocates. Uh, how, how is the Osaka, Kansai area? Do you know mm -hmm. Kansai? Yeah, I, I have been to Osaka uh, on the uh, DEFCON, uh, that's the Ethereum community uh, meetup, uh, and um, it was almost disrupted by a typhoon, but I think the typhoon uh, arrived on the very last day, uh, and so people were able to still get a lot of things done. Uh, and I shared there um, the idea of using, for example, quadratic voting uh, and quadratic funding in the Ethereum uh, blockchain um, the, for blockchain governance projects such as Gitcoin uh, and uh, shared how we plan uh, to make uh, such Ethereum community innovations into political innovations also uh, for the Taiwanese uh, administration, like uh, through presidential hackathon. Uh, and so I think many people in Osaka uh, was interested uh, by the idea of taking something that's uh, a business model, a community model in the Ethereum community and using it uh, in so-called real world politics. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's my uh, re re uh, remembering of the DEF CON um, in, in Osaka, but I have not uh, worked with the city level government. Uh, it's just uh, with the few people that uh, went to the DEF CON uh, in the DEF CON uh, venue. Scott? Yes. You want to speak to Audrey? Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised to see uh, Andre face to face. Hi. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I think I think uh, <laughs> same age. Hmm? Age? Uh, I'm. Forty. Uh, I was born in the 1981. Hmm. Mm. Me too. Me too. I'm also born in 81. In March, yeah. I think it's... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how old is it? 1978. Ah, okay. Ah, 78, so... Uh, no, 42. 40, 42, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, let me show my idea. I generally love the caregiving... Uh, let's call it system or a solution. It's, mm -hmm. it's very... Uh, mm -hmm. the benefit for, for, for people. Mm -hmm. and, and we 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 done some similar projects in Taiwan before, that's the Airbus. So, anyway, back, back to the, the original. I, I was surprised we can join together with our dream, maybe to be mm -hmm. sure to develop something interesting to helping people live better. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm thinking now, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have time, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Quite wrong, no? Mm. Do, do you like fashion? Yes. 
sorrow. <laughs> mm. Because I can make a cross. Mm. Mm. But uh, anyway, I I will contact and uh, I will make sure what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Then just uh, final pitch days. Mm -hmm. Then after, can I contact you? Yeah, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if so, you recording this yes. meeting. Yes. If, if you can send me the, this video. Send, yeah, video. Yes. Can, of course, uh, you can download it right from Skype. And if you are okay with it, I can just post it on YouTube. Then you can send it um, to your other colleagues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Today. All right. Yeah. Today. Is okay. See you next time then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you.